Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out the episode. I'm RJ. This one's going up on a Thursday, so I hope you guys had a good week. I'll be out of town this weekend, but I'm planning to do an IRL live stream, so you will not want to miss it. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification button because we live stream every day. That'll let you know whenever they begin. So we're going to look at three separate locations that were changed in Red Dead Online from Red Dead Redemption 2 Story Mode. One thing you may not know is that online actually takes place before story mode, which means it shows off a very popular character from the Dutch Vanderland gang, shows off her early years. We actually get to interact with her, and I'll show you that as well. We're going to start off at one location that was not changed, and that is the crashed plane, or whatever you want to call this thing, a flying vehicle, crashed airship. So what does this look like in online? Let's find out. Here it is. We got Virtual Trippy to check it out. And it looks exactly the same. I find that interesting, the fact that it's identical as John Marston, which is all the way in the epilogue. This is well before then. And it looks the same. So it does not change, and I don't think it's going anywhere. Unless maybe the Undead Nightmare comes. It could be the final boss or something. Flying around, dropping bombs on us. Who knows? So that's an example of one location that is the same, yet there are three that I'm going to show you guys. That are changed in Red Dead Online. Starting off with a location based around the Chelonians. With this shell, I, I am safe from, from all things. things. We shall not be defeated. We shall be saved. Follow me and be saved. Follow me, follow me, follow me to Chelonia! 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 You just saw the Chelonians and John jump off of this cliff, but as you could tell, there is no campsite here yet, so I guess they have not showed up. There is a house that is nearby. It's the Mysterious Hill Home, and that is also connected to the Chelonians, as well as a nearby cave. So we have to look at that stuff in online mode, guys. There's a hidden message that appears on the tree outside the Mysterious Hill Home, which has the Chelonian symbol. We have to see if that hidden message also appears in online. Now the message creates the word leader. So I believe that that is the home of the Chelonian leader, the guy that had that turtle suit on and told everybody else to follow him as they jumped off the cliff to their death. I'll meet you guys at the hill home. The campsite was missing, but the Chelonian symbol is still on the hill home. You can see it right there on the top. It's the sideways turtle. And here's the hidden message. So this says leader. Right now it looks like an X and a one, but as you back up, you're gonna see more symbols appear. Let's see if it works. So far, nothing. There it is. Now, I've had a few people say that you can see the message better in online mode. It's hard to tell. You have to let me know what you think in the comment section below, but that says leader. The message disappears. The house shows the Chelonian symbol, and right above the house on that cliff, that is where they put Arthur's grave, his final resting spot, just so happens to be next to the mysterious hill home. Now let's go to the cave. There seems to be no major differences at the home itself, but it is slightly changed up in the nearby cave. Why would Rockstar make that leader message disappear? Is it really supposed to be so secretive? So if you go back behind this rock, you can find a very deep hidden cave. So go around here. It's actually hard to notice. It's the first cave that I found in the game. This cave does have some statues. In single player, you have to go to Window Rock, which is right about here so that has a hidden message as well telling you how to solve the statues you have to push the buttons and you cannot push those buttons here in online it'll reveal a hidden compartment right here it's open but nothing's here let me know if you guys have ever found something in this cave it seems to be highly suspicious especially because it's connected to the chelonians what kind of history do they have guys i believe there's an argument that sadie is the most popular character in the game people are clamoring for a Sadie Adler DLC. Well, you can find her here in online in this ranch, which was destroyed. You remember her husband was brutally killed. It was devastating for Sadie, and she wasn't the same probably ever since. So here in online, we can visit her 
and actually learn what her husband looks like. And I gotta say, he seems like a pretty cool guy. I feel really bad for Sadie. So you can walk in and do a mission for the Adlers. Look at this place. It's in good shape. Not burnt down yet. And here he is. The Iron Man. Mr. Adler. We got our health and a roof over our heads. You're about to lose both of those. Sorry, sir. It's probably nothing, like I say. But probably nothing. He should have been there by now. Can we'll find his dead body. We'll be back. Alright, where is he? Oh, that's not good. Down there. That must be him. You are escorting a captive? We got a floating man. That's not the captive, is it? Look at that. He's actually alive. They're all alive. Shocking. Okay, let's get out of here. We made it back to the cabin. And look who it is. A young Sadie. She was a hottie back in the day. So this gives me hope, guys. What if we get a young Charles, a young Susan, and dare I say, a young Lenny. Make it happen. We have to do some missions with young Lenny. So here you go, guys. Sadie, one of the more popular characters. Some of you guys may not know that she has more content and even missions that you can do for her and her husband. With that said, we got one last location that has been changed. We're going to head back to the story mode with John to check it out first. Here, not too far away from Van Horn, you can find a creepy house with a man-made creature inside. Now, many people question who exactly made the man-made creature to begin with. During one mission, you meet Micah here. So my best guess is that Micah is behind the man-made creature. It makes sense. I feel like he would do something like that. If you jump inside the window, you're going to see it staring right back at you. Now, there is one thing missing here in Online Moon. We'll go there in a moment. But look at this stuff. You got what looks to be maybe a fetus. There's a skull. Here we are back in online mode. Now, keep in mind that I just showed you the skeleton that goes unchanged. It's the same whether you're in online mode or the epilogue. Rockstar kept it the same. But it is different here at the man-made creature. As it disappears, it's no longer there. I feel like that might be proof that it could come back to life in single player. It would make sense to put it in the Undead Nightmare. It is extremely creepy. I don't know if there could be something creepier coming after you. I think it could come back to life, guys. I find it highly unusual that it is missing in Red Dead Online. But let me know what you guys think, and definitely let me know if you have any locations that have been changed from Red Dead Redemption 2 Story Mode to Online. We have two other big videos in the works, so stay tuned for that. Definitely hit the like button, guys, and reach out to me on Twitter at TrippyComs anytime. Live stream later on tonight. Make sure to stay tuned, and as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?